Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this video is a game review called Atlantic Fleet. You can find this in Google Play, Google Play, but it is paid, that's the problem. So I downloaded it as an APK instead and I'm gonna review this game. So you have four, four options to go inside the game. You can go first for training, but I'm gonna for, go for the options menu, I mean. And as you can see, there's not a lot of choices. And as you can see, there's no language menu, which sucks. And I really like to have a language menu with at least five languages in it. There's a little bit more in the game options. You can start longer range start. You can go for zoom buttons, but that's for the graphic settings. So we're going to go for single battle. And it was made for killerfish games for our Atlantic fleet. We're gonna go for the most equal battle that I can know because I played this game for a long time but sadly I deleted it. So as you can see that's the most equal battle that I remembered but that was like last month that I played but sadly I deleted it. As you can see there's a historical outcome. You can see the battle of the river plate with the Nassos or Nazi versus the Royal Navy. You can start for player 2 on so that you can also control the initiative. We're gonna start the attack. As we can see, we're inside the game. At the bottom left, you can see the controls, basic controls for a ship. So back, flank, which is the fastest, and port starboard, starboard, right and left. You can even see the propellers underneath the ship. It's very interesting. And also at the top or left, you can see the name and the speed of the ship. So the game is actually a bit outdated in the graphics. As I found out, cruising at 21 knots, we are going to go for the map. And as we can see, here are the Na Royal Navy. We have the heavy cruiser, etc. And the light cruisers, Achilles and Ajax. They have a little bit less power than the heavy cruiser, but we're gonna go hard to left port or port I mean. So we have we have two turrets, three uh, three barrels, eleven inch armor piercing guns, and as we can see we can also do the scope. But I don't usually do it since you know you can uh, you can only you can actually use the camera following the uh, following the fo I mean following the gun or I mean the shell so you can actually use the smoke so, which is a bit weird in this game so yeah so we're gonna move to port we're gonna align the guns and we're gonna move the bottom left a little bit on the right and where I'm clicking is the dispersion field with the left and right arrows at the bottom left we're gonna also rotate the turrets we have 11 inch armor piercing shells as we can see here we're lining up to the etc you can actually click at the enemy ships if you really wanted to so that you know where you're hitting we're gonna hit at the front part of the etc which is its two main turrets 8 inch guns so here you go, we're lining up. At the top right corner, we can see the elevation. But actually sometimes it's a... Um, what they call it, sometimes it does overshoot. So I'm gonna lower it to 14.7. So it does seem a little bit more aligned. As we can see here. We have, AR, we have high explosive shells. We have secondary armor piercing. High explosive and a torpedo tube. I'm gonna show it to you and it, it also moves it's only at the back part of the ship so we're, gonna, we're in the map as you can see the alignment so we're gonna click at the non button and we're gonna fire 11 inch armor piercing shells I think we're gonna yeah we're gonna miss as I predicted So we have also that button for the camera um, following the following the shells. We are gonna go for 20 degrees of height angle. 
and fire armor piercing shells. As you can see, we're not gonna follow. I don't see that. I don't know, but it's an overshoot. So we're gonna go for port, flank position, fastest on the ship. We're gonna rotate the turrets. We're gonna put high explosive shells since these are good for long range. There you go. So we're gonna set it to around 28, a little bit higher. I think we're gonna overshoot or maybe... Uh, oh, it's a little bit lower than I thought. So we're gonna go for port, flank position. Now we're gonna use armor piercing shells. Armor piercing shells, I mean. Sorry. So we're gonna go for, I think, 29 degrees or 28. We're gonna fire the section shells. Would be a miss. Actually, we can. So we have only two minutes. Light damage. So we're gonna move a little bit so that our two turrets can hit. Then we're gonna lower the angle of the barrel for around 13 degrees and we're gonna fire armor piercing shells. And I think we're gonna hit. Yeah, we're gonna hit. The acceptor is already disabled, so we cannot use them, which is kind of really bad luck. So in in real life, um, the acceptor was actually on fire, which is much worse. As you can see, it's not anymore red and it's white. You can use the turrets unless the back turret does, but we're out of range, which is the problem. The same as the torpedo tubes. So we have nothing to do. We can actually also use the smoke, but it's a bit, you know, weird to use. I mean, like, it doesn't um, show the elevation. I think we're gonna hit. Only the mast, I don't know what's it called. Reach. A little bit lower or higher. I think the same, but I think this is gonna be... I think this is gonna be an overshoot. Yeah, it would. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for the next part. So yeah, I will see you first for a minute. So we're back in the main menu and we're gonna start our campaign. So we're gonna go for the initiative first. So we can see, we can start a new campaign, and as you can see, there are three stars for our first mission. You have to actually put the ships and how much renown you have at the bottom right. But since this is an APK, I am gonna actually, you know, buy some ships. As you can see, some more ships, U-boats, and submarines. You can actually buy this, but you need um, renown. But since I'm using an APK, I can have a little bit more. It's, it's, it's a little bit cheating, but that's my only choice since, you know. So I'm gonna use a light cruiser first, but pretty much a heavy cruiser is a better job for the next battle. So we have the most powerful one, the Hoten and the Bismarck, very known ship. Sean Host as very nice for you know so I'll save up for the battleships for the last round for like level 40 can you we can actually use the Bismarck but I'm gonna go for a light cruiser I'm gonna wait it's around here this one is a light cruiser which is good for the first round it has only 5.9 inch shells and easy to start on fire I really don't know about much naval warfare, but a little bit more knowledge. Mural Hipper, the Lutzau. Now it's gone. I am gonna go for the Shanhost, I guess? No. Shanhost. I'll go for the Gneisen Hawa, since they're really good at um, s um, sniping. So we're gonna buy a little bit more. Since I do have a lot of renown, this is a little bit cheating, but I really do want a bit more time since I nearly bought this game. As we can see here, 
Bismarck. I'm gonna buy that in the tier pits. So you know what it feels like in the first round. I'm gonna use only one and as you can see it's so dark. It's a bit reddish. It's a bit weird since it's dark. We have to go a little bit in starboard or flank. We're gonna use a uh, star shell. Two star shells. We're gonna shoot. And I never knew that the star shell goes under drastically. Since the freighter doesn't have any uh, guns, I can use it. I'll add a second star shell for the extra time. As we can see, it's a bit weird in the video, but I hope in in the actual game you have to actually, um, you know, really do it for yourself. And we started a fire on board. So it's a bit more tricky if you're in the sixth level since you're gonna do the U boat to actually um, do it. Since I'm keeping missing the the oh that was actually um, dramatic. A little dramatic than I thought. So for the U-boat warfare I'm gonna play a little bit more. Since I'm back, um, I really don't have much time to actually um, record the U-Boat Warfare since the video gets a little long from here now. But I'm gonna show you a little footage here. But pretty much if you are a destroyer, um, it will be a little bit pain in the 6th. So if I will rate this game, um, I would say if you're a beginner, um, pretty much you need a little bit more information than you would think since if you don't have information about this game you will um, you may be a little bit more struggling at the point but if if in ratings I would say in realism um, I would put it around the 9.2 out of 10 stars with a point two it's it's a, it's a little bit more realistic but pretty much I would say um, for the difficulty of the game, which you can change, um, the difficulty of the game, well, is well, it's around. I would rate around six out of ten to eight out of ten, depending on which ship you're fighting for, and if you're bored, you're going for the, uh, you know, uh, if you have lesser known ships, then the difficulty will go lower. But the more most painful battle you will ha enter is the U-boat one which I'm showing here but pretty much this is um, free you know free free game it's just you know um, just single player as you can see I'm flying an airplane here then I will shoot that U-boat down I hope so but pretty much um, this game is actually great but if you're actually annoyed with the game sometimes the game can be a little bit more boring and a little bit more you know frustrating to actually shoot down ships which can be irritating sometimes the shells miss which is also another irritating factor of the game but pretty much yeah uh, yeah pretty much it's realistic what do you expect for the game and pretty much it's a game still but it's also a very annoying game if you play it so if i will rate this game i would say it's around seven to eight stars but if you're kind of bored with the game or you're not um, interested with the game, I would say it will go for the lower 6 or 5 stars. Sometimes 4, which does feel a little bit, you know, boring if you play the game a lot. And the most annoying is the campaign, which um, is absolute pain in the ass to actually beat down ships in the later ones. And sometimes planes, example for this one, I thought that it, it dives steeper, but I think it's not enough. And as you can see, it's just little. So for my experience, in my perspective, I would rate the game around 7.1 out of 10. Since, well, it's not the best game you will find, but also the most realistic. But one problem is that it's just boring game if you play it very long. With the game then you'll just bore out which is another annoying factor for me so i played this game for a very long time but since i don't play too much of it 
Well, I don't really need to use this game for too long since it, 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 it is still on version 1.12. They didn't even release the 1.13 version stuck at the year 2016. So yeah, this game I would say is decent. So it's not the best, but it's not the worst in full gameplay, but it's decent. So yeah, not a bad game.